morning everybody. I am finally, for once in my life, it feels starting a vlog before 9am, so that's good. Um, yeah, I'm up a bit earlier today than usual. I know that probably sounds really late to some people, but that's just been my sleep pattern lately. I've been going to bed really late and then getting up sort of around like 8.30, 9 o'clock-ish um, to get straight into starting my day. I don't know, I'm just going with it. It was definitely a time in my life right and I like I think I was even talking about it on this channel um back when it was happening that I was waking up at like 5 a.m to do side project stuff before work and now I don't know if it's just getting old but I could not imagine doing that at all right now I'm liking not setting an alarm clock just waking up whenever the heck I wake up whenever my body feels like it's had enough sleep you know so yeah I'm just gonna just gonna keep going with that for a while especially during this quarantine I did turn on the camera though to say something specific and now I can't remember what Whoa. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it'll come back to me. Um, I'm sorry if you're seeing some weird glare from my glasses. These ones, uh, I have two different pairs of glasses. These are the ones you're used to seeing. Um, these ones have a blue light filter in them. I was starting to get like, I don't know, headaches. Um, and so I thought maybe I need to be wearing the blue light filter ones more often. I'm spending so much time on a screen these days. Like, feels like literally everything involves a screen in my life at the moment, so. Um, yeah, that's not good. I'm trying to trying to find ways to, to break out of that. I bet a lot of you are feeling the same at the moment. Um, just the fact that, uh, you know, with more things going online, things that used to be maybe you did in person, um, now you're looking at a screen to make them happen. I had my Spanish class last night, for example, which is really fun. Like, I'm loving these classes. It feels like a fun hobby. There's nothing like riding on me doing well in these lessons, you know, there's no tests or... I don't know, um, there's not a deadline that I have to suddenly master the language by, it's just something that I can enjoy doing and learning um, that isn't related to my job or a side hustle or anything and so yeah that's that's been really fun. But that is supposed to be something like a hobby I was picking up to do in person away from a screen and now I'm spending four hours on Zoom every week with my class so yeah. Um, anyway I'm starting my work day with a catch-up of everything that happened overnight. I go into Slack and read all of the green bubbles. They have a little like notification that I've been tagged in something. And then all of the like channels with some activity, I just sort of like skim through them. I don't know if you use Slack at work, but um, lately they shipped an update where, can you see once it focuses, that uh, you can have categories. So this is how I have my channels organized, I have my marketing team stuff at the top because those are the ones that I access most often. Then I have the people that I frequently direct message. Um, I have all the like essential to read channels uh, that I like to keep up to date with as they update throughout the day. And then there's like other channels that um, you know I might I might need to be active in, but I don't need to check all the time, so I can kind of ignore them. And then there's the fun stuff, you know, which. Uh, is, isn't necessary but is nice to be a part of so those as well and then some that I have muted. My plan for today I know I've spent the past couple of vlogs working on uh, motion graphic stuff and so it's been a while since you saw me working on like a, a web design project even though that motion graphic stuff is kind of like part of web design you know what I'm saying. Um, today I am working on uh, our homepage, the like template of it. I feel like I'm kind of settled on using the animation that you saw in the last vlog for the header, but obviously I need to get the rest of the page sorted, so that's what you'll see me working on today. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna get on with checking things, and I'm waiting until 9 o'clock so that I can check my Nook's Cranny store on my Switch and see what price turnips are today, and that sentence will make no sense if you don't play Animal Crossing. And if you do play Animal Crossing and you're wondering why I'm waiting till 9 when the store opens at 8, it's because my Switch is actually set to UK time because I just never changed it when I moved here. Okay, enough Animal Crossing talk, let's get on with work. <laughs> the forest app which is what this little tree growing timer app is on a vlog before but like I seriously recommend it. if you are struggling with focus set a timer for an hour even half an hour if you want to start out with something a bit less and uh, just see what you can get done in an hour um, I find that having the timer helps me to focus because I'm like okay my brain wants me to check Twitter right now, but I've got 38 minutes left on this timer. I can wait another 38 minutes before I check Twitter, you know? So it helps in that way, but also 
Um, it helps make me feel better about the progress that I'm making on a project. Um, I've been working on this homepage for a long time and uh, like, I don't know, this project kind of started when the pandemic hit and so the beginning stages of it were really rocky. If you watched my vlogs from like uh, the first week of the lockdown here in Spain, you'll know that I was not focusing super well and you know feeling super good about things and so yeah um it's been tough going with this project and i've been feeling like oh, i don't know things aren't coming together as quickly as i sort of liked but setting a timer for an hour and then comparing where you started at the beginning of that hour to where you ended up at the end of the hour just it shows the progress that you're making you know and um, it shows what can be done if you just have a solid hour focus block on it um I'll show you some of my designs and like they're not crazy different really but it's just I don't know my thoughts are much more in order now so I've been focusing on this section here which is uh, a section that talks about our product essentially uh, I just got the copy in from my writer Danny today so before that I was just I just sort of had this as a mock-up with dummy copy and thought maybe I'd use these icons but as soon as I put the real copy in and read it and saw it all together, I was like, okay, these aren't going to work. I think I need to bring in real product imagery. Um, and my idea is that these images here match with what people would have seen in the animation up the top of the page, which is what I showed you in the last vlog. So you can go back and watch that if you want an example of that. Uh, uh, but because of bringing these in, I thought, okay, maybe it can't be in a line anymore um like it was in my wireframe do i have a version where it was still a wireframe in here somewhere oh my god i have so much stuff in this file yeah this was this was my wireframe anyway i tried a bunch of versions like of different arrangements of these things and the numbers just seeing um what works best and this is this is honestly the way i work i duplicate the page and i lay out another version so that i can like go like this and just switch back and forth and compare them and decide which one I think works better. I uh, tried a different background. Then I thought, okay, maybe it actually could work in a block. My main reason that I didn't think this was what gonna work, this layout, was because I can't have the text centered uh, when it's like this much copy. It, it was, I don't know, it was looking weird. So it had to be left aligned, which then looked strange when it was icons. Um, but now that I have these things, these blocks that kind of hold the space, I was like, well, maybe I can have the, you know, maybe it'll look okay to have it all in in a row. So I tried a few different versions of that. Um, and this is where I've ended the hour on is, well, I mean, I'm kind of back to where I started with having centered things, but because this is a block that holds the, fills all the columns of turn on my guides, you can see, um, it means that the text underneath could be left aligned because it sort of aligns with this block while the headings can still be centered and that kind of you know looks okay i don't know this is definitely not what i'm settled on but this is where i've ended up after trying out a bunch of different things for the past hour so yeah that feels good oh and then i also tried that in a different color but i don't think it works i always like to try and get a focus block in in the morning of, of an hour focus block because it just i don't know it sets me on a good path for the rest of the day I find that if I don't manage to get some good focus time in the morning, I can sort of like, I don't know, just feel bad about that and feel guilty about that. And it just throws the whole day off, especially when my teammates in the US start coming online in the afternoon and things get busier and people need things from me. And then I'm like, wow, I haven't done anything today. Uh, so yeah, feels good to have gotten that done. This video is not sponsored by Forrester, by the way. I just really like it and I like to share things that are helpful for me in case they're helpful for you. Anyway, um, I'm feeling like I really need a good stretch. And so I'm going to find a Yoga by Candice YouTube video. because She is my favorite YouTube based yoga instructor. And I'm going to do a little bit of that. If you don't have yoga locks, I would recommend just using a really thick book or two. I just had my lunch outside in the sunshine, which, uh, wait, can you even see? Yeah, I promise you it's a beautiful blue sky out there today. Um, now I'm about to get into another focus block, I think, because I've got some meetings this afternoon. And so I just want to make sure this project is moved forward a bit more um, before I start getting into like meeting and communication time. So I'm going to set to grow another tree and I'm going to focus on the des uh, tablet and mobile layout of the page. Um, I always get questions about why I don't start mobile first. And like I've even literally had someone tell me in the comments that I'm flat out wrong for not starting mobile first. 
guess what? Your design process is your design process. You can follow whichever one works well for you. I'm not ignoring mobile when I'm designing on desktop. I'm constantly thinking about how things will shift as things break down. Um, and because I used to code for our site, um, you know, for the first two years or whatever that I was in this job, I know how the code base works really well and I understand how like our grid system functions and um, how things, you know, work at the different breakpoints. So yeah, it's not like I don't think about mobile until the very end, but um, I usually just don't bother laying it out uh, until I'm getting, until I've got the desktop version kind of more sorted. Um, it's just the way my brain works. It's not like been a problem for me so far. Um, I think the designs I produce still are good and, and look good on mobile as long as I'm like, you know, making sure I consider it. So yeah, I don't know. Just felt the need to defend myself a little bit there in case someone else wondered why I'm only just now laying out the mobile version. But anyway, let's get into it. get the app Figma Mirror on your phone because um, when you sign into this as well as being signed in on your computer you can click on a canvas so like I have one that's the same width as my iPhone 10 here um, and then it'll show up on your your phone so you can interact with it and properly see how the design looks on mobile because it's very different to look at a mobile design on a screen when you can like I don't know see a lot of the canvas to seeing it uh, on an actual mobile and interact with scrolling on it, you know? So if you use Figma and you haven't got the Figma Mirror app yet, make sure you do that. I just had a little bit of a disaster with um, my water where uh, I moved my chair back and my headphone cord got caught and spilled the water all over my desk. So now my keyboard is sitting outside drying on a paper towel. If that's not a sign that I really should be using Bluetooth headphones, then I don't know what is. Right now it is quarter past five. I'm gonna quickly take a break from working on this stuff because I wanna upload my video for the day. Uh, and then from 5.30 until about eight, I'm gonna be in meetings. And so yeah, that'll be that'll be seeing out the rest of my work day. But I really did also wanna make sure I uploaded um, some versions of the design so that I can get feedback on them from my team like in their afternoon. I sort of have, I have the top half figured out. Uh, then there's a couple, like two different versions I'm considering for the bit talking about the product that I showed you earlier. And then there's also two different calls to action that I actually want to run as a test, but I want to like upload them both as versions um, so that the team can see and give me feedback on them. So I guess I better get to it if I'm gonna try and get all that done uh, before my meeting starts. Let's see. <laughs> going on um, in the background but that's like a little glimpse of what's been happening every single night at 8 p.m. for the past must be like six weeks now uh, since this quarantine lockdown started it's uh, everyone applauding applauding <laughs> it's everyone applauding for the healthcare workers and the essential workers who are um, you know keeping us safe and keeping our lives going through this yeah it's quite quite lovely though also lately at nine o'clock there is like another round of noise of people like banging on pots and pans and uh, Mark said that that's people protesting the fact that we're in quarantine. So I don't know, people make noise for lots of different reasons. I did not quite get done the exporting of the um, designs that I wanted to do because a bug came up that I had to, that I had to work on and, and quickly fix something. Um, yeah, I just had a few really good meetings. Our team meeting this week was talking about like what impact we think this virus and the pandemic is going to have on creatives going forward and um, what can we do to support them like in this next stage of like whatever is coming next so it was like a general discussion of people sharing their ideas of things they've noticed or whatever it's really fun when we do stuff like that I really enjoy it anyway it is eight o'clock now and so I'm going to quickly try and like try and get this stuff up uh, into envision before I end my day but honestly I think I'll probably 
start it and then decide that I want to take the time to do it properly because whenever I share a design for feedback I want to leave little tour points in fact as I'm saying this I know that I'm probably going to leave it till tomorrow because I don't want to like rush it um, I like to leave tour points to explain various things and like to ask questions and prompts for people about um yeah well like what I need feedback on I'll leave a link on a card to a video that I did all about how I use Envision for collecting feedback so yeah I just think that I don't have time to do that before dinner is ready so I'm gonna sign off the blog here uh, if anyone like wants to know about my turnip prices that I mentioned at the start they're not good today so I'm gonna go and sell my turnips on a friend's island I think to try and try and make some money back there turnips and animal crossing it kind of like it's kind of like playing the stock market where you buy turnips and then they're like prices fluctuate during the week that all sounds probably really weird to anyone who doesn't play animal crossing so you know what forget it <laughs> thank you for watching this vlog thanks for hanging out with me today and watching me design a new home page it's really exciting for me actually that i've got um like this series of vlogs i've been i've been working on this project for a while and uh it's cool to like know that my progress on it has kind of been been tracked throughout all this time i'm excited to finally have it live though so that i can show you that i like you know finished it we did it and we got it out there but uh, yeah, that'll be, that'll be several weeks away. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you all have a really good weekend. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to other people too. And I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.